These moms are Second Amendment supporters with conservative values, and now they find themselves in an unusual position advocating for gun reform. And they, along with the other Covenant parents, have been at the state capitol day after day advocating for bills they support. So how successful have they been? WSMB4 investigates, investigator Courtney Allen has been following bills that are supported by the Covenant parents. While they've had some wins here at the Capitol, the parents say that much more progress needs to be made. I often think of life as pretty March 27th, pre and post March 27th. A day that forever changed the lives of Nashville families. I don't know that I'll ever feel totally at peace again. It's what launched Sarah Shoup Newman into advocacy. I was 86, no nays, eight present, not House voted. Bill 7007 have received the Constitution majority. Everybody declared pass by objection to the most reached Sarah's table. She and other covenant parents became fixtures at the state capitol during the special session the governor called in August. We know the eyes have to be adopted next minute, Mr. Clerk. Meant to address public safety following the shooting. It's painful, it's disrespectful, and it's just really hurtful that, in their view, no meaningful firearm legislation was passed out of that session. Since then, they've traveled to the White House to address gun violence prevention and were chosen to be among USA Today's Women of the Year. Now that another legislative session is underway in Tennessee, some bills they've backed are having more success this go-round. The fire alarm bill was signed by the governor this month that will require schools to come up with better fire alarm plans. I know this bill will at least help some to save some lives. On the day of the shooting, Covenant's fire alarm went off. Lawmakers say one of the victims, nine-year-old William Kinney, led his class into the hallway and was shot. Little William was doing exactly what he was trained to do in a fire drill, in a fire alarm. Protecting children like William is why moms like Newman Keep fighting. It shouldn't be a right or left issue. I mean, it's it's a matter of life or death. We all want our kids to be safe. Courtney Allen, WSMB4. And another bill that was backed by Covenant parents actually passed through a Senate committee today. It's the autopsy bill and what it would actually do uh, as it goes to the governor's desk. The bill would ban the release of children's autopsies without first the approval of the parents. Also, an extreme risk protection order bill uh, and others are scheduled to be heard next week, so we'll be following along with both of those. Now, it wasn't just gun safety and security. School safety was also top of mind in the days and weeks following the shooting, and it continues to be. Now, the governor signed a $230 million school safety bill uh, to help increase resources. It also requires all new or remodeled schools to have bulletproof glass also installed in doors and windows, and it added armed security guards to schools.